Hey everybody, I got a neat trick for you today, and that is a torch that lights up. No, there's no tricks. This is not shaders. This is a simple command that gives you the ability so when you're holding a torch in your offhand, it lights up. Isn't that neat? Real quick housekeeping, I have right here an overhead view, which Cool Blue and Tyconan asked for. So right here, we in our light video, we did this construction that gives us the ability to be able to turn on and off light like this. So I just want to give you a clear overhead of what that looks like and how I chained it together. So right here you can see that I've done very little other than what I did in the video. And we're just running these three into the locks here. And so this is the overhead view. You can see everything and it's one wide so you don't need to know anything else. And so there's that, and I will even show you how I chained it. And so all I did was I chained it to multiples like this. So no fancy logic needed in order to run it to multiple um, light sources. If you want to add another light source, and let's say you're starting to run out, all you have to do is just come over here and let's say we did this. And what you could do is put a repeater on here. And as long as the repeaters are the same number of ticks, it should function just fine shouldn't have any problems. Now this is going to give you issues because pistons don't conduct redstone. They only will allow it to affect them, but you won't actually be able to pull out of it like this. That's not going to work. So you can do this and that'll work just fine. But uh, other than that, let's go ahead and I will show you these commands. So over here, I've got two command blocks which make this work. And so all I'm doing is I am checking in a chain anywhere there is a player where their NBT inventory slot 106, negative 106, has a torch. And if it has a torch, then what we're going to do is set at my head level light. And so, oh, if it ruins it, if you do this, magician giving away his secrets, look at that. Oh, that's all there is to it. Kind of ruins the trick, doesn't it? But it actually is really elegant. I really like the solution, and it looks really good. So if you look in the first block, what we're doing is we're initially running and trying to fill any of the area around me from one block in each direction to a couple blocks up with air and replacing light. And so what we're going to do is anywhere there's light near my head, we're going to put air there. And the reason why we go up to three is because we don't want to have an issue where we're falling too quickly and we fall and we end up with the ability to move so quickly we leave light sources behind. We don't want that. And so, yeah, thought that was a useful trick. I'll put the commands in the description. Um, if it matters, these are unconditional, both of them, and I just have them set to always active. But uh, that's all I got for now. Hope that was helpful. And I really hope to see more of this because I feel like there are those who would really like to have shaders but can't run them. And this is a neat alternative that gives you the ability to have your torches light up just as if you were using a shader so that you can walk around in the dark. And I hope that was helpful. Have a good rest of your day. Bye.